Welcome to our state. Welcome to the peace conference. We need this conference. We need peace. These are the words sung by the women of Yambio in their local language, dancing and ululating as the historic peace conference gets underway. The mood is electric. Nine governors from different states across the country, along with state government representatives, religious and community leaders, have gathered in Niambio in the Western Equatorias to share experiences and show their commitment to build peace and stability within and across the borders. Silence the guns and let dialogue be our weapon. This was the overarching rhetoric at this important conference which brought about dialogue to the people at the grassroots. South Sudanese are ready to be the drivers of peace. They are ready to own their own peace and make it sustainable by embracing reconciliation. Enough is enough. Time has come to end the war. Time has come for peace. Time has come for true forgiveness. Time has come for us to revitalize ourselves as South Sudanese people, our ideas to move our country forward. This cannot be done by anyone from outside, but we can do it as South Sudanese people. Thank you for coming. The foundation for peace has been laid, and the United Nations mission in South Sudan remains committed to work with local authorities to consolidate the process and make peace a reality. The ongoing deployment of a 4,000-strong regional protection force mandated by the UN Security Council to protect civilians in Juba will free up more troops to be redeployed to other parts of the country. The UN is doubling its peacekeeping troops in Yambio to 300 to support the building of peace in the region. The UN will also establish a permanent base in Ye, 155 kilometers south of the capital, Juba, to help build peace and security in South Sudan. The United Nations can provide a, a, a great deal of support. Uh, we have uh, troops here, peacekeeping troops, so we are going to increase those peacekeeping troops here so that we are uh, patrolling the roads much more frequently, making people feel comfortable and more confident of, uh, of being in their homes, of traveling on the roads, of creating the opportunities for trade and economic development. Too often when South Sudan is mentioned in the international community, it is to do with negative things. But today, South Sudanese are changing the script and building on opportunities. A new hospital wing for children in Niambio town offers signs of a new way forward. The UN agencies themselves are doing uh, a lot of work. Today I heard about the UNDP that's opening up a vocational training centre for 300 young people so that they have an opportunity to, rather than use their guns, they can, use, uh, they can learn new, new trades and, and new skills to be able to help them be able to forge a peaceful way forward rather than a, uh, than a, than a violent one. In a country where peace has been a rare commodity, it is hoped that the conference will be replicated to other states to help build durable peace countrywide. There is hope that peace will once again return to this young nation so that all of its people, united in diversity, can live safely with dignity and in peace.